Okay, here's a comment that I got from Carlos. Um, he's having trouble loading a VST. Uh, we've been having a lengthy con uh, discussion in the comments, but he's still not getting everything um, quite right. So I've asked him what the VST is, and I'm going to try and download it myself. So, I think we're in here. There's more comments. Right, here we go. So he's trying to use Iowa Auto Stack. So we're going to try and download that. And... I think maybe the um, the explanation is quite dated now. Some things have really uh, changed. So, not fully realistic, but it's good. okay. So, it does seem to work. There's no comments saying that this doesn't work. So, we'll give it a go. It has got 4.6. Now, I'm running the 32 bit version of uh, vo uh, Podium. So, you will need to download the right version straight onto my desktop there. Let's just download that. Wait for that to. Is it going to start? There it is. Oh, finished. Um, let's just, let me just check it quickly. Cool, we're all clean. So we're going to extract the folder. And what we want to do really is open this up. And I want to see what we've got here. Okay, so we do have an, ah, uh, right. So now this is probably where... We're getting lost here. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over this whole, um, all the contents here. So in here, there is an MSE file. Now what that is, is actually the database for all of the sounds. And some instruments have this, some instruments don't. Um, basically the DLL file is a library file. So it points one action to another action or to an effect or something like that. So this basically says, if you click this, this happens. But what... The way this one is set up is saying, when you click this, tell this part of the MSE file kind of thing, to play that sound um, in that pitch, that kind of thing, right? So I hope that makes sense. Uh, sometimes you just have to download the DLL and move that over, but if there is an MSE file, do take the whole thing. So let's copy that. And we're gonna go over to my C drive. Now I have the VST plugin uh, folder here. Uh, when you first install Zymo Podium, uh, that VST folder um, actually is installed here, uh, in here somewhere. Um, but since an update of Windows 10, that doesn't always work. So the way around it is to take it out of the program files, whichever program files you've got it installed, if you've got 32-bit or the 64-bit version installed, uh, and then whack it straight on your C drive. So let's open this up here. Uh, let's go into instruments. Um, we do have a folder here called Iowa Sax, which I've already made, which you don't have to make, but I'll do it just to show you uh, what what it will do. And then whack them both in there, and that's it. So that's it for this side of it, anyway. So let's open up Podium. Right now, I've got a uh, product, uh, a product, a project here, um, and at the moment. If I have a look in my VSTs, that you know, half of my instruments aren't there. This is really, really old project um, so a lot of the stuff isn't here that actually is in my folder and also the Iowa sax isn't in there so what we're going to do we're going to click on here and we're going to go uh, rebuild and load plugin database okay I decided to skip that because it took way too long um it's uh i mean it's been a while since i've used this project so it's way behind on the list of uh, vsts it was literally at the bottom here so uh what i'm going to do here well now it's updated is we can see in instruments that there's a lot more instruments now uh, and what we can also see hopefully there should be a folder called iowa sax and then we've got an Iowa Sax version there, and then we've also got the different uh, inputs and outputs there also. So let's open up a new project. Don't 
double click here to add a new track. We'll call this sex. Um, and I'm just going to run a VST here so you can hear what I'm, uh, what's actually going on. Okay, so now you should be able to hear us. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the source um, drop down here. So we're using that to tell Podium that we're going to be using the source sound from uh, an instrument. So we've got instruments here. We should see our folder, Iowa Sax. So if I didn't use a folder, these two would just appear in here, just like this. Um, but let's go to Iowa Sax. So that's all good. That's added in. When we uh, click that, we can see that we've got a little keyboard here. Makes a lovely sound. Uh, but then if we double click here, and then we can drag for as long as we like, but Go to the beginning, and in here we can just map some bits. Drag them out. Beautiful. Um, there it is, adding a VST instrument to Zymewave, uh, Zymewave Podium. So simple as that. Uh, if you do have any problems, do let me know. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because someone had an issue. Um, I thought it's just quicker for me to uh, just show exactly how it's done really. So um, if it helped you, please smash that like. Um, and thank you very much for watching. Andy DIY Band, bye.